Yeah, I know. It sounds outlandish. No contract. It's Money. Real. Twelve ninety nine a month for all this. What you doing? Oh no. You making a mess again? Shoes. Yeah, shoes. Your mommy was about to clean up clothes and shoes and you're making a mess. This is a Nina. Nina did that? No, you did that. <laughs> You're so funny. So I'm starting the day here with um the wardrobe i have uh clothes from many plenty of clothes that i stored and um i was lucky that i had another girl so i get to use all of Maddie's clothes and shoes um as baby nella is already growing out of her zero to three month clothes I'm just looking here to find the three to six month ones. Um, when I was pregnant, I already had them, you know, sorted by month. So I don't have to, you know, do all of that when the baby arise, arrived because I knew I was going to be way too busy for that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna put back the newborn clothes because they don't fit her anymore um not that i'm planning to have another baby but you never know i'm like oh my god so many clothes and i kept these plastic bags you know with the zips um from a pillows that i got you know, if you have these kind of bags, just keep them because they're very handy for storing stuff. Um, look at Mally here. She loves the camera. <laughs> She's saying, shh, the baby's sleeping. <laughs> just keep watching this little part because you'll see me giving you guys a little performance.
Thursday. And Thursday is just not my day. I really don't know what it is about this Thursday, but every Thursday is like not my day. Let me know if you have the same or if it's like a different day for you. And Melly is eating now her lunch, but um, she needs to have that thing on, you know, that plastic <laughs> jacket or whatever that is. Because when she's eating stuff like this, you know, tomato, you know, it stains and it doesn't come off the clothes easily. So that's why I put that on when she's eating something like that. But don't worry, it looks like it's like very tight on her, but it's not. It's okay. <laughs> so I did the clothes, the main bathroom. I have laundry to wash right now because I'm going to have them washed for tomorrow because I'm going to iron them tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to do the laundry, you know, just clean up the take the dishwasher out just stuff like that you know daily things and that will be it for today i know what i wanted to talk about um you know i made the tomato sauce yesterday but um i can't eat that because i'm breastfeeding and this little baby is really sensitive to foods that I eat and then she gets like pain in her tummy and I don't want to do that to her so I don't eat you know these what is it called tomatoes are they like um, sour I don't know how to say it but you know what I mean like um, things um, some vegetables some fruits you know they, they they can upset your baby's stomach especially when they're this little and you're breastfeeding but uh i've noticed a huge improvement uh when i started to drink like fennel tea at least two three times a day because that will help you know with their digestion so they're both asleep now I just wanted to put that out there 
uh, not to criticize anyone, just to say what my opinion is about you know cooking and having children. Guys, I really hope you don't take um, anything I just said personal. Um, I'm just mentioning that because um, that's the reason why I make these videos. To share my life experiences and my current life at the moment and what I'm into as a mom um, just to inspire other moms because it doesn't have to be um, either the house or the kids or you that's clean or do you know what I mean like they say um, you can have it all if you put your mind to it these cooking parts that I'm showing in my videos is to show you that uh, you don't have to cook like anything complicated or fancy or whatever uh, it can just be very easy you know but still be healthy and nutritious for your family and that's the reason why I'm including that and also why I'm showing you know what I'm doing in a day you know the cleaning and everything is because um, I want to show you what what routine I've set up for myself and what works for me that way I keep my sanity and I know you know on these days I get these things done and I know that my house you know I'm maintaining my house I'm not letting anything you know get dirty or anything after this week um, I won't be making these videos anymore where, where you see me clean and cook unless you really like them
<laughs> it's the next day now. Um, I couldn't um, end the video yesterday. I didn't have time. I was just spending time with my family and then it was time to, you know, shower and all of that, get the babies ready for bed and I just didn't get to film like the ending so I'm gonna have both videos from yesterday and today together so it's Friday and today we're gonna make a chicken with a creamy sauce and dumplings so if you want to cook with us then please keep watching so we're going to put a coarse flour in a bowl about 1 kg and we're going to make a little hole in the middle to make some uh, space for uh, your yeast and then we're going to add some sugar to it and lukewarm water so you mix it up a bit and then you cover it with something and let it rise for 5-10 minutes So now we added one egg and water. And we're going to knead the dough. So I've kneaded up the dough and uh, divided them into pieces. And now I'm just going to cover them again with a cloth and let them rise a bit more. And meanwhile, have your uh, water boiling and ready for them to cook. So now I've added them to the water and we're gonna let them cook for about 10 minutes on each, each side. So after 10 minutes, we'll just flip them around. So moving on to the sauce again, we're starting off with onion, bay leaves, pepper, and allspice. I feel like that's a base for many sauces. So I added the chicken thighs, I washed them and took the skin off and I'm going to let them fry. Then I'm adding paprika and salt. I just eyeball everything guys, I don't measure these things. And then water. And you're just gonna let that cook until the meat is fully cooked. When the water is uh, boiled out, that means, you know, the chicken must be ready. And then I'm just adding the fresh cream. So guys, I just thickened the sauce with a cup of milk and uh, about three spoons of flour. So the reason why I thicken the sauce, this sauce with uh, milk instead of water is because, you know, milk goes a bit better with cream instead of water, if you get me. And then, you know, at the end, you just strain the sauce, you know, to get the onion and the seasoning out, you know, like the bay leaves and the spices. Um, and yeah, but I'll show you guys on a plate how everything turned out.
<laughs> you ate it all? Mmm, yummy. Look at the mess. Mm hmm. Yep, that's Mally's mess. Hi, everyone. Sorry, the lightning in here isn't too good, but I'm just editing the video and I saw that I don't have an ending to it again. So I just quickly came to another room to record it um, as Milan and the girls are already asleep. Um, you know, so after you saw uh, Mimi, Mimi, Melly was eating, I uh, had to clean downstairs again because tomorrow we're going out for shopping and I want to come home um, to, you know, a clean house. So um, I cleaned the floors, the kitchen after that cooking and... Um, a little ironing update i didn't get to finish all of it um you know reality not everything goes as planned um but doesn't matter i'll just catch up with it tomorrow and then um as we're gonna go out shopping we will film that and uh then hopefully by tomorrow evening i'll have that video up for you guys too and um so i'm gonna call it a night because i'm really tired i'll see you guys next time peace